Now, the Westmobile home Perez allegedly broke into is one he visited many times before. He was a friend of the Smith family for years. Well, tonight, they tell NBC 15's Nicole Fierro the portrait of Marco Perez as an accused cop killer is worlds away from the sweet boy they knew growing up. Cynthia Smith got emotional talking to me about the idea Marco Perez, the boy who grew up with her children for the past six years, is accused of killing an innocent officer. Um, look, there he is. Yeah. He look, there there he is. is. Cynthia Smith is in disbelief. She's seen Marco Perez many times before, but she never imagined watching him enter and exit her home while fleeing from police the morning of Friday, January the 18th. I, I wish to God they would have got him that day. I wish somehow, some way that they, they would have been one in your house. Or yeah, something. just just come in and get them. You know, I wish they would have known that he was here inside. Break down the doors, come get them, whatever it took. You know, maybe that you know it took place on Sunday. Maybe that would have never happened. Sunday is the day police say Marco Perez took a stolen gun and murdered Mobile Police Officer Sean Tudor. I cried. I mean, it was just it was sad because this stupid kid has just taken the life of an innocent officer, you know, someone that was just there to protect and serve. And this child, you know, took that away. Smith says she never used to call Perez a stupid kid, never ever would have thought he was capable of murder. Marco was a kid that whenever they wanted to go off and do something, I'd be like, chores hadn't gotten done. And he'd like be the one getting them all up to go do chores, so I'd take him to the skating rink. After the he was here for all their birthday parties. Perez grew up around her Westmobile neighborhood, around her home. He was like family. I'm like, you know, the Kool-Aid mom. They all call me mom, every one of them, you know, call me mom. Perez called her mom while eating Christmas dinner at her home. Less than a month later, her image of him changed forever. I knew he'd been in of trouble, but I would have never dreamed that he'd be killing somebody, you know? I mean, this you really can't trust who comes into your house. Smith says she's worried most about her son. Perez and his younger brother were his pals. Now she's forced him to cut ties with their family and now has her son going to therapy. Greg and Kim, 